fighting out of the United States Air Force Blue Corner. This freestyle fighter stands 6 foot 2, weighing in 171 pounds. Your professional record, 11 wins, 4 defeats, and 1 draw, with 3 wins coming by way of knockout and 3 by way of submission. Representing Jackson Week MMA, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, by way of Chicago, Illinois, he is a four-time amateur champion, Eric Messiah Mitchell. Is a public cross the DC cage, fighting out of Nebraska, Lottery Red Corner. Is a freestyle fighter, standing six foot four, weighing in 175 pounds. Your professional record, six wins, four defeats, with four wins coming by way of knockout and two by way of submission. Representing Premier Combat Center and fighting out of Nebraska City, Nebraska, he is a two-time amateur champion and current cage aggression welterweight champion, the Phoenix Brady Miller. Your referee, Derek Meyer. You fellas already know the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch them up if you want. Aaron Mitchell is coming off a three-fight win streak. Trains at a pretty prestigious gym in Jackson Wink in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yeah, this is a this is a big fight for Brady Miller. Absolutely. Brady's a little less experienced, but Brady always brings it. Super tough fighter. Last time we saw him in the cage, he broke his hand and still finished the fight. His brother in his corner is former UFC fighter Derek Minner. Good luck, kid. They're both, they're both got the build for this weight class. With that tall, lanky build. Aaron Mitchell kind of going to stomp that knee. You got to be careful if you're Brady. You want to watch those. Try the hook kick. Yeah. Oh, that was a good body kick. By He's definitely got some speed in his kicks. Four-time am amateur champ Aaron Mitchell as well. Aaron Mitchell stepped in last second. He was a Replacement. That was, a good, that was a really good leg kick by Brady. He is hurt. Aaron Mitchell is hurt from a leg kick. Yeah. He's stumbling. And Brady is trying to capitalize on it. Caught him again. Looks like Aaron wants to take this fight to the ground. Yeah, I wonder what happened there. What if it just, just hit the nerve and Yeah, or if, if maybe he's he's got an existing injury that, that Brady kinda brought to the surface. I'm not hundred uh, percent sure. Brady kicks hard, man. Absolutely. I'd like to see Brady separate here and just start yeah, just start throwing at that leg again. And Brady might just need to slow down and just attack that spot and yeah. keep you know, you can already see Aaron is kind of slowing down, and he's, he doesn't—he doesn't have that spring off of his back leg. Yeah, there's uh, having a high fight IQ is. It, ooh, that was another good one. It's something that's—I don't want to say it's underrated. It's just something that you honestly sometimes you don't even see up in uh, up in the UFC ranks. Someone uh, you know lands a good shot and obviously hurts the person. They they kind of get away from attacking it in the, at all, and it's a absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that, another, it's another well placed leg kick. It's compromised. Brady is smiling at him, getting in his head. Ooh, Clipped him. Shot. Brady's talking now. He's gotta be careful though. But Aaron's got some power in his hands. Well, and if Brady backs him up into a corner, Aaron might go for broke, you know, and and get catch Brady too. So Brady's got to keep his hands up and not get too yeah. overzealous, but. 
Brady's in a good spot here early on in this fight. I see Brady. Taking the top position. Take his back. He's got one hook in. He's got a body triangle. And Brady's got those long legs, yep. locks that up. See if Aaron can use the cage to kind of scrape him off. It's still, still good time. He's got a minute. And the tap. Brady Minner with a first round submission over Aaron Mitchell. What a Very impressive win for Brady Minner. He knocked the legs out, man. Those are some powerful leg kicks. Corner. Aaron Mitchell in a, a bad position. He gets a takedown on him. Leg kicks can change the whole out aspect of a fight. Brady smelled blood in the water and was ultimately able to capitalize on it with a first round submission. Moves to seven and four in his pro record. Yeah, and, uh, you know, that, that was a good fight IQ by Brady to attack those, and, and when there's an opening that's present, go, go for it. No, we did it. Support. Link Nebraska, put your hands together for the Phoenix, Brady Minder. 